And this is the simplest way to create a baseline just with stock plugins. And which is also really awesome is to add some saturation to your drums. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm gonna show you how to create a really awesome reggaeton beat for beginners. I've just released my Latin sample pack, so make sure to check it out. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna create a beat which is a little bit similar to recent beats from Bad Bunny. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the following top. So first, I'm gonna create the chord progression. Afterwards, I'm going to create a bass line which is based on the chord progression and add just one melody on top because this is a beginner tutorial. Then I'm gonna show you a really simple trick how you can create a really awesome lead, so which is really in the background. And I'm going to show you some tips which you can use to improve your melodies and really keep it simple. And then I'm going to create drums and show you how you can create a really underwater effect. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So first I'm going to set the tempo to, I think, 85. And then I'm going to use this Whirly 2 for, for example, some roads. So I think this preset is really awesome. And these will be my root notes. So A, G, E, and F. I'm just going to create this really basic chord. I think a perfect chord progression for these beats. So I'm gonna cut out the low frequencies, some of the, of the high frequencies, something like this. And right now I'm gonna add a bass line. And this is the simplest way to create a bass line just with stock plugins. So open up the three OSC and just turn this one down to zero, this one to 12, so just keep it this way. And just set this one to 10%. And right now we're going to just follow our chord progression. So like this. And just really easy. We're just going to follow the chord progression. So we're going to create a bass line like this. remove the click sound so we're going to create an envelope like this just a little bit of attack and we could add some more high frequencies by just turning this one up and that's basically it so it's going to sound really awesome in the end and right now i'm going to add a guitar melody on top of this one and I'm going to use the Ampo Guitar semi Holo and just use the default preset. And to keep it really simple, we're just going to start with our root note. So this A flat right here. And we're going to, for example, set this one right here. C sharp. Just really simple. And we're going to add this underwater effect also on our guitar. So I'm using the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Sounds awesome. I'm going to cut out some of the low frequencies. So I think I'm going to continue to the drums and I'm using the snare for my Latin sample pack. So this one and this one, I'm just choosing some random ones and I think I'm going to add something like a head like this. And we're going to create a really basic pattern. And to already create that on the wire sound, just go to control and then cut off filter, just a little bit. And just copy this one to this one. And now we're going to add this head. Thank you. 
And right now we're going to add the kick. So I'm just choosing a regular kick. This one is really common in those beats, but I think I'm going to layer it with the second one. So this really deep kick, I just copy the pattern from the head. And it's done. Just really awesome, I think. And right now I'm going to add some filters on top of this one. So I'm going to use a mixer. Just select your kicks like this. Go to the mixer. I'm just going to start at insert one and then the second one. So both of the instruments are linked to the mixer. I just disable this one and we're going to create some buses. So this will be my kick bus like this. And we're going to link the head to the mixer and also our snares. And we're going to do the same for our snares. So just also create a bus like this. And we're going to add an EQ. So I'm just going to use the EQ from Fruity. And I'm going to do the same for the snares. But you can also use some filters from FL Studio. So for example, this fruity filter. So I think I'm going to turn this one up one octave. Uh, which is also really awesome is to add some saturation to your drums. And also to the, to the snares. And then we're just going, and then I'm just going to create a really simple arrangement. So just the chord progression. So that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.